Let's just take them. Everybody loaded. Oh, ah! shit. He's a feral. Oh, do we get a wandering horde, too? Yeah, we must have gotten a horde. Bad timing. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare series. And we are on day 22. We just had a successful Horde Knight 21 on our tower over there. I'll go back over there and fix it up and reinforce it a little bit more for Horde 35 if we are still here, which we probably will be, but I don't know that for sure. Let's see here. I did go ahead and upgrade all of my crates to iron crates. Uh, so then we have a little bit more space because we were getting low on room. So we did that. I don't remember if I had done this on camera or not, but I did make myself an iron fire ax. However, we're not going to take that with us for questing. We're going to keep the stone ax with us because it fulfills two, two rolls and therefore saves us an extra slot. So we'll just keep taking this with us for questing, at least for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's see. Do we have any, do we have any points? We don't. Okay, so we don't have any points. Do I have any challenges? Nope. Don't have any challenges either. Okay, so we're all caught up on all of that stuff. Um, I would like to maybe make a few more shotgun shells so we have a full stack since we're going to be using our shotgun a lot now. And it looks like I'm, I made some more gunpowder there. Do I have gunpowder in here? I do not. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have to do some more mining for gunpowder, which we can certainly do. So we're going to need paper. And let's just see how many shotgun shells I can make with this. To get a full stack, we would need 65. Oh, we can't even make that. All right, well, let's just make as many as we can make. And I'll do some more resourcing later. Resource gathering, to be precise. Um, Actually, yeah, you know what? We pretty much just use the paper for shotgun shells, so let's keep that in the weapons chest. While we're waiting for the shoddy shells, let's just grab these three items here that I have to sell to Rekt, and we'll go sell those. Hey, you old codger. Hey, jackass, can I lighten that backpack? Let's get this over with. Okay, uh, we don't, we no longer use wrenches to make workstations. Otherwise, I would hang on to that. Uh, so let's just sell that for some coin. And let's see, he's restocks oh, on day 25, which means he probably up. has you know the drill, asshole. a new inventory. So let's take a quick look, see and see what he has. Okay. Well, I'd tell you to go fuck yourself, but you did that when you didn't buy anything. Okay, so <laughs> that is all we're going to do with Recti Poo until we do our, our turn in. Let's go back and grab those shotgun shields and then we'll set out. Okay, I did make um, a vegetable stew because I wanted to compare it to meat stew, and meat stew is obviously better. I figured it was. What doesn't make sense to me, though, is that you get... I think you unlock meat stew before you unlock vegetable stew, so I'm um, not sure about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and just take this to top off. I am going to start carrying coin in my inventory now because we have the, you know, we can fall 15 meters with at least 5,000 coin in our inventory thingamadoodle. Uh, so we might as well start just carrying that with us. Does take up an extra slot, but is what it is. Uh, all right, so we grabbed the shotgun shells. Do I have anything going on in here? Nope. Okay, so I'm going to have to get more resources for, for concrete. Well, we we have a full stack of it, though. But it does go fast. 
especially if we decide to upgrade the rest of the tower. I wanted to look at one other thing. How far away are we from the mini bike? Let's go here and we want vehicles. So we looks like we're eight vehicle magazines away from the mini bike. So we should start keeping an eye out for those and maybe even buying a couple from the, the trader. Uh, all right, what is our quest here? We've had this quest for a couple of days. Red Barn Bed and Bath. This is a clear and retrieve. Let's go do it. You can see all my trees starting to grow up here that I planted. It's looking like a forest. Uh, we may have piggly wigglies here, which is fine. We'll use them for food. Tell you what, let's just drive into the driveway. Anybody attacking us? Not yet. All right, let's have this ready to go. They're usually hiding out in the field and then they just kind of pop out of nowhere. Maybe that is not the case. What does this field grow? I don't even see any crops anywhere. Does it not grow anything, or did I come here earlier and harvest everything? Definitely a possibility. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. All right, let's do a little bit of double looting. We'll check the working stiff. Uh, can we loot tractors? No, we cannot. Oh, uh, shit. I didn't bring a shovel with me. I was going to grab that cement. Oh, well. We'll check this vehicle and then go check that little out building. Looks like a, maybe a stand. Um. All right. Don't care about that. Grab a little stone. And grab a little wood. Okay, let's get this thing started. Oh, hold on. We're going to get distracted again. Okay, so here, let's just... See if we can get right to that, because I can't even see where it is anyways. Uh, not from here, anyway. Oh, I'm watching the sky and not the road. Yeah, we should be able to just go directly to this. I'm glad that happened before I started the quest. You want some too, Darlene? Oh, you're not Darlene, you're Ronnie McNaughty. There it is. That's an upgrade. Yeah, because we're using an orange claw hammer at the moment. Two more armor. Okay, now we can do level two armors, good. And we want to keep reading those uh, rifle magazines because I'd like to to get an actual hunting rifle. Um, but we're only to level five so far on the pipes, so we'll just keep hammering away at those. And now we can make a legendary stone sledgehammer. We are a little bit hurt. We're a little bit hungry. We're a little bit thirsty. Let's go ahead and take that. Yeah, we got some ammo out of the deal, too, but the hammer was the best thing. Clear and retrieve, baby. Let's do it. Hey, that's not lootable. Damn it, Jim. Um, if there were crops out in this field, that would have reset them, but I still don't see anything. So maybe this one just doesn't have crops. I'm going to say that's, I think, what the situation is. Let's check out the working stiff. At least we got a working stiff again. Okay. 
harvesting tools. We can now make iron tools quality too. No, oh, this I guess isn't part of that POI. All right, is there anything in here? Sports bag. Nomad outfit. Carry. Oh, carrying capacity. Oh, dudes. Dudes and dudettes. That might be our replacement for our mining chest, except for when we're mining, of course. Now, uh, let's look at that. So, right now. Yeah, this gives us almost another point of armor rating. And it gives us two more carrying slots. Nomad. Um, maybe maybe we should actually be looking at the Nomad outfit for, uh, you know, for daily use. And just keep the mining outfit for when we're actually mining. I mean, I, I anticipate that I'll probably have multiple sets of armor when it's all said and done for different purposes. But it makes sense, I think, for us to... To start wearing this right now. All right, so let's take you off. We will put you on there. Unfortunately, it only has um, one mod slot, but that's all right. Cool. So we increased our armor by almost a point, and we gave ourselves two more points. Nomad. Um, Actually, too, can we... Let me look at this a little more closely. If we go to... Okay, boots give us stamina recovery. That's good. Gloves give us stamina re... Oh, no, that's the full set. Okay, sorry. Uh, so the boots give us run speed. Okay. And not super useful. The gloves give us increase melee damage on radiated foes. Okay, situationally useful melee damage yeah see that okay yeah i'm not i'm not super thrilled about that uh this gives us reduces food and water use now that's useful for being out and about okay and what did this do and run speed okay so i would say the headgear and the main outfit i'd be interested in Wearing on a regular, you know, day-to-day -day questing basis. These ones, eh, not so much. I mean, they're okay. It's not like they're terrible, but not the best thing in the world either. Let's go up here. Uh, okay, no zombies down here? just just break out oh okay fair enough i have not done this poi since 1.0 has come out at least i don't think i have i have done it in the past of course hey look at that Damn, big mama. Don't look at me like that. You want some tubo? Alright, are we supposed to start in here or are we supposed to start in the house? I don't remember. I think there's like an underground tunnel involved in this POI. Uh, guess since we're in here, we might as well go in here, right? Bunch of hay bales. I think I'm going to forego getting plastic for now. We've got a decent amount of plastic. Um... We'll grab those for now. More water is always a good thing. All right, I guess that's it for in here.
Um, let's re-grab this stuff again. Well, no. I don't want stone. Why did I do that? Mushroom sports. You know, I said I wouldn't grab plastic, but we got a pretty decent chunk of it right there, so maybe we will. That's going to be cloth there. Alrighty, so I think for this one, we're supposed to climb up the trellis in the back, if I recall. Is there anything I can drop off in here? Yeah, one thing. In fact, let's do this. Let's grab the brass back out and we'll put the armor in there. Uh, yeah, okay. The door's probably locked. Hmm, wasn't there a trellis that you would climb up to get into this place? That door's locked, too. Okay. Oh, I see. We're supposed to go across there. That's that's new, isn't it? I could have sworn on, on this POI there was a trellis in the back that you would climb up to start it. I think they changed this. Unless this is not the same POI, which is entirely possible as well. You're going to get yourself stuck in there, aren't you? Oh, shit. Is that even hitting them? That did. I've got very low pistol skill, that's why this is taking a million shots. I'll eventually work on that, but... Uh, dude, get to where I can shoot you. Alright, that was exciting. We have a safe. Uh, sure, I'll take those. All right, let's open it. Night Stalker, 10%. Bows do 10% more damage at night. And we got uh, a trap. Oh, no, robotics. And then some useful weapons parts. I love it. Here, let's get rid of this. Any bad bads in here? Nope. A little bit of paper. I'm not going to loot every single thing, guys, so selective looting. You always have to prioritize, you know, and decide, okay, do I want to get more shit or do I want to conserve inventory space? Sometimes I'm in more of a get more shit mode and sometimes I'm con in conserve mode. And you'll never know which one it's going to be. I don't even know which one it's going to be. It just is whatever happens at the time. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Big mama, you hurt. Okay. 
I love heavy armor. Yes, I do. Trap magazine. How close are we to be able to make electric fences? Because we're going to incorporate that into our horde designs. When we can. Um, bu -bu 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 traps. Shit, we got to get all the way to 25 before we can even make an electric fence, huh? Okay, well, we'll keep working on it. Let's open the front door for quick escapes. Nope, don't want that. This kitchen is in bad shape. That's about all there is to loot in here. Does this just go outside? Indeed it does. Okay, let's reinforce this door if we need to retreat back up it. It's like the final... Oh, God. That's like five red dots. Okay. That's a lot of Zika Roos. Um, oh, we can't block the door. Um, Alright. Tell you what, then. Let's just take them. Everybody loaded? Oh shit, he's a feral. Oh, do we get a wandering horde too? We've got one more. Yeah, we must have gotten a horde. Oh shit. Bad timing. Um, let's get back. Let's get out here. Whew. Okay. Man, I don't have any explosives with me right now. I have a pretty bad spread on this gun, so I gotta squeeze the trigger lightly here. Back here, let's go to here. I'm gonna start coming through here now a bit. Got him? Okay. That was exciting. We expended quite a bit of ammo on that deal. <laughs> uh, there was a bag down there, right? Yeah, there is. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and grab that. Just cuffs. Oh, we got a treasure map. I think that's the first treasure map we've we've gotten. Pretty sure it is. Nice. We'll scrap that and use the stone to fix up our stone axe. Okay, we'll take that. We got a purse. With some money.
Legendary parts. We'll take it. And armor parts. Uh, guess that. Oh, nope. There's a working stiff crate right here. Take both of those things. Actually, no, I don't want that. Allo? 7-6-2. Now we can make Iron Sledge, so one more level and then we'll be able to start updating, or upgrading rather, our Iron Sledge. Ooh, nice. Uh, this in particular. Uh, do we only have one slot on here? We have two. Um, burning shaft. That's kind of a nice to have, but this is essential for a sledgehammer. Um, so these two are the best two mods, I think, in my opinion, to put on a sledgehammer. Because this one's less stamina and this one has more knockdown. So we could put burning shaft. Um, here, let's put it on here. And that will give us a little bit of a light source, too, when we're in the, the dark places of the world. Which is pretty much everywhere in this fucking world. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to pick the... What the hell? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to pick this stone shovel back up temporarily so I can go outside and harvest that cement that we left out there. But I will meet you guys over at Trader Wrecked for our turn-in. All right, guys, uh, I was going to fix this up and sell it, but I think I'm actually going to scrap it for the, the parts. Uh, we will fix this up and sell it uh, because we got that blue one now. Hey, Rick. You... Now that you did the job, all right, let's see. I guess you ain't that damn bad after all. Lead is the new silver in the apocalypse. Find more lead and loot. Um, I do not like to find lead and loot. It's just worthless. I think I'm going to take the Molotovs. The only thing is, though, is what is the lucky looter bonus? I don't remember. Hold on. Let's take a look. Lucky looter. Enemies have a higher chance to drop loot. I mean, that's useful. Um, that is very useful, actually. So I think I'll, I think I will take it for that reason. Hey, we're done with tier two. Look at that. They give you a workbench at the end of tier two. Oh, mini bike parts bundle. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to actually take. Having two workbenches would be nice, though, but let's take this mini bike parts bundle. All right. Let's Inventory. Get this over with. Let's sell that to you, that, that, and this. And then. All that gawking at goods and next that's job. All you buy. Here's a fetch and clear and a fetch. So let's do the fetch and clear. We get a few more points. Oh, no, we just... Out of dumpsters and... oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. We're, we're not going to redo the same ones unless... Uh, well, nor as a general rule of thumb, we won't. Put mind. it that way. Getting Jericho Ranch. Okay. Get moving, jackass. Because don't pay by the our goal hour. here is to, to hit all the POIs in town. That's a, a, a goal that I made for myself because I could. Um... Look at that. Nice. Got two wheels, and then what does this have in it? A bundle within a bundle. It's got an engine. Okay, cool. Um, Let's end out this episode by doing this treasure map. Let's just read it. Jennifer's map, and then whereabouts is that at? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll follow this road out of town and hopefully... It will be close to that. Feral Screamer. Scary. I should probably... Fuck, she screamed. Um, I need to kind of go around and check this building completely been ignoring it and at some point it's going to come down if I don't do that
I'm just gonna grab my shovel and then we'll skedaddle. Let's put that stuff in there. This is about as far down this road as we've been. Let's go this way. Then we have a little bit of a road there. Here we go. It's not in too bad of a spot. What do we got? Hawaii Five O here. Let's repair this and make sure it's fully loaded because it's going to turn night before we're done with this endeavor. Okay, we're loaded. Okay, let's find some buried treasure. All right, it is now nighttime. Make sure we have a nice, smooth escape out of here. Get a nice chunk of clay out of this, so that's always a good thing. There it is. Got it on the first try. Nice. That's a nice chunk of change. Look at that. 3,600 coin in change. All of that is really good stuff. We'll take it. All right. Um, so, yep, yeah, I think that's going to wrap up. Oh, we got someone coming. Let's go. Uh, wrap up the episode for today. Plan for tomorrow will be to do pretty much the same thing. Just keep working on POIs. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.